evening at Dover Sherborne High School, but this is the first time in two years we've had fall football, and it's a thrill to be back here again, especially with no masks on. I'm Bruce Glazer, standing next to me is Art Crandall, and we'll be bringing you the second game of the season, this one between Nipmuc and Dover Sherborne, as we pause for our national anthem. Nice a cappella of our national anthem. We are standing here on this live stream at the 30 yard line on the visitor's side. To the left of the 50, obviously, as you see it from your TV screens. And Dover Sherborne comes in at one and all in the air after a slaughter against West uh, Weston High School 42 to 6 in the opener. Last year DS was four and one. Uh, last year so Nipmuc was one in three. They only played four games. They lost their opener at St. Paul. They scored the first six points of the game, did Nipmuc. And then St. Paul of Worcester took over the game, 38 to six. And Art, I gotta tell you, both teams graduated a lot of seniors, but the depth is on Nipmuc, uh, is on Dover Sherborne's side. Nipmuc lost a lot of seniors, and I, not, I do not see that they replaced them. And Art, during the anthem I'm counting, we've got 46 players on the Dover Sherborne team is approximately 30 and about four injured on the Nipbuck side. That's not a lot of people. No, no, it's not. How are you doing today, Bruce? I'm fine, how are you? Good, thanks. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day for the ball game. I noticed the flag was at half staff, mm -hmm. and that's because of, uh, in honor of First Lieutenant Thomas Redgrate, and uh, he was uh, killed in North Korea, and they've just brought his body home, and so it's always good to give due our patriots. Absolutely, better late than never, right? Yeah. Uh, Kick off to Nipmuc as they start the first half, or they don't. Touchback. Touchback. And, you know, the interesting thing about this game is I was comparing last year's roster for Nipmuc to this year's roster, and they really are, are decimated. Yeah. They really are. And I'm, I'm looking for a good game because we always look for the positive, and it's just great to be here. Expecting a great game. Yeah, I saw their uh, team from last year, and I'm saying, where's, what's his name? Where's, what's his face from spring football? Yeah. They graduated. Yep. The returning senior quarterback is Oscar Clark. He's got a strong arm. He opened the game last week at um, St. Paul's with a 61-yard touchdown pass to, um, I believe it was Cloutier. Yes, Pete Cloutier, who's going to be a wideout for them. They work out of a one-back man backfield as, as the Silver Sherborn. He's in a shotgun. Quarterback has the ball. Clark's going to run on his own. Tucks it under his arm. Gets to the 20. Gets up to the 25-yard line. He's still going. Nice first down as he runs out of bounds to 31. Wow, that was just all on him. Good blocking. And he dips the dude right out and almost got a first down. I thought he did. No. Oh, they mocked him. He went out of bounds. That's short. Whoa. Yeah. Head coach is David Tupper, Tupper from Nipmuc. Yeah, you can see on instant replay there that he had a uh, really a lot of good moves out there. And uh, I think we just, you know, it's the first uh, drive of the game, first first play of the season. 
Ben Studley, great name for a football player. Ben Studley is off to the right. Mike Tinian is the slot. Tinio is sl slot to the right. Now they're working with a two-back backfield. Quarterback calls it out, hands off to his deep back. It's tripped up is Tinio. You know, I think he was tripped up more off his own uh, his own people, but of course that was due to uh, the, the uh, blocking couldn't go anywhere because of our defense right up front. And Tinio is in the backfield. It was Brady Karmelek who's in the slot to the right. Correction on that. The defensive line for DS is Bowen, Kane, Banerjee, and Daly. The linebackers starting out, Hurst, Robinson, Murphy, Ross, Bottom. Your DBs will be KB, Bennett, Polk, and when needed, Hurst. And Art, as um, I was talking to some people at the, at the Western game, this is an outstanding defensive backfield for Dover Sherbourne. one. Pro maybe the best they've ever had. This looks like a really outstanding uh, expectations are high on this team too. They read that play before the ball was snapped and the quarterback goes back to his own 16 yard line. The, pre the rush was coming. It was a gang tackle for sure. I mean, you look at everyone, he's 17, 52, uh, 56, 72. How many other names and, and numbers can I and call in there? It was just, everybody gets credit for that tackle, I think. Ryan Fournier would be the punter. And John, Johnny Bennett at his own 50 yard line. They don't have much faith. Oh, I can see why. A short punt. They're going to let it roll. They somehow must have scouted this kid. He doesn't punt very deep. Well, you know, the, the other thing is we'll probably see on replay is that uh, he didn't get a direct uh, snap, it hit the ground first. And uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but uh, he, it hit the ground first, and he did everything he could to get it out. So, and maybe couple that with the fact that he doesn't kick very far. There's a nice Raiders flag on the home stands. The students holding it up. I think that's kind of cool to have a flag. Nick Muck brought their cheerleaders. They've had cheerleaders oh, for years. Yeah. I was back there in the late '90s, and I know they had cheerleaders. That's something they're very proud of. Off to our right. Don't it's a him. beautiful 67 degree evening as we start this game. The quarterback is Dan Sullivan. Up back gets the ball and straight ahead for a loss. And he loses the ball with the whistle already blown. Um, the ball carrier was a Fosa Amadi. It was a direct snap to him and it didn't work. I yes. liked the idea, but the execution was poor. You know, it, it, I, I think for the first play of the game, they were trying to do a, a, a little trick play, but... Um, yeah. I'm not sure you start a game off with a trick yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. You know, because they're, they're, they're psyched. They're ready. They're watching. That's just what you I know? was thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, but, you hey, know. You know. It's okay. It's all good. We'll set up the offensive personnel for you after this play. Junior Bennett takes the ball this time. He's going to pass deep in the pocket, way downfield, and it is caught by Bennett. Bennett's off to the races. Touchdown. That was just absolutely magnificent. That was just outstanding all around. Great protection, great throw, right on target, perfect catch right in the end zone. Look at that. Unofficially 55 yards. Officially a touchdown, and well, the trick play didn't work, but the bomb did. Wow, that was just a, a absolutely perfectly executed play. We were talking about the defense. This, this comes out of the first on the offense was uh, pretty darn excellent. The kick seven in a row, starting the season for Henry Murphy, and. They, this team is so well balanced. You stop them one way, they're going to come another. But <clears throat> the only negative I see is the depth behind Johnny Bennett. If he gets hurt, all bets are off. Yeah. It's like, you know, Mickey Mantle or Joe Dimaggio. It's that kind of thing. Where if you one of your big guy goes down, and I'm going way back on it. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, Bruce, that is, that's a reference that Whoops. people have to Google. Uh, Mike, um, what's his name? Mike is a judge of the Yankees. Yeah, judge for the Yankees. What do you, if your big player goes down, it's sometimes your team isn't any worse, but they're demoralized. Yeah. And Bennett's a big key for them. Yeah. I say Mickey Mantle. Really? You know, the interesting thing was I was I was uh, talking the other day and some uh, woman, a younger girl, about 26, and I was working with somebody who's probably in 40-something. She said, well, he called up for 
on Tuesday for uh, uh, for uh, and I said a hamburger. <laughs> you know, call on, you know, gladly pay you back on Tuesday for a hamburger today. And most of the entire generation's listening doesn't understand, but that was Popeye and Wimpy, right? Yeah, Wimpy. Popeye and Wimpy. They're not they're not gonna feel that. That was that was returnable. That was very returnable. They look very uncomfortable, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. And if you remember, last couple of seasons, Murphy would usually kick grounders. Yeah. At the in the second half of the Western game, he was kicking high flies because he got the leg. And now they're letting him kick deep, and these guys don't know what to do with the ball. No, it's absolutely awesome. Or maybe the footage they watched, they saw all the squibbers and thought, "What's he kicking in the air for?" Well, to put you back to the twenty. You know, it was kind of interesting because the ball landed what around the maybe the five and. I didn't see any DS till around the 30, so they did have time. Just didn't want the ball. Studley watched it go in the end zone. They work with a one-man backfield. Quarterback dropping back deep. Throws a screen left side. He's got Tineo. Tineo tripped up. Oh, nice tackle. Outstanding. It's Cabio, isn't it? Yep. yep. KB. KB. We saw him as a freshman, and um, he was a. I mean, if you remember last year, he's a freshman DB. Look at the look at the tackle. You know, that's an open field tackle, and he would have got at least about five to seven more yards off of that. The kid is a, that the kid is a coming there. star. Yeah. 8.52 to go. Johnny Bennett and his team have a 7 nothing lead. That's Bennett's fourth touchdown. He had three at Weston, nine and two-yard runs and a 44-yard pass catch. This one was 55 yards. KB also scored in the pass reception, as did Olsen on a 16-yard catch. Amadi had a two-yard run to summarize the scoring at Weston. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. No, thank you. Down goes the quarterback. Down goes the quarterback. Very nice. See that 56? Yeah, that is uh, 56. Oh, you need a roster? You know what? Do you have a roster? I left it on the counter. Um, I got an extra one somewhere. Look at my, in my basketball bag there. If you open that up, you'll see a folder. You can have the roster. No, no, the basketball one right there. Mm -mm. That guy, yeah. There's some extra rosters in there. So we're looking at a third and 17. Speaking of Henry Murphy, the kicker, I found out that this week that he's committed to playing Division II lacrosse at Bentley next season. No kidding. He's an outstanding lacrosse player. My alma mater. Oh, is it really? Mm hmm Well, he's going there in spite of that. Third and mucho. He's being rushed. He knows he's got to run away. Clock on the run. He's Nowhere not to go. Going anywhere. Inside the 10. That was a really nice pursuit right there. That was Willie Bowen? Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing they've done so far is a sneaky quarterback run for eight, seven or eight yards on the first play of the game. Yeah. And that's it. Nothing. They're going the other way. They got minus yardage. Now, here's an interesting thought. They got two kids on the sideline not playing with number cards, and they're flashing the numbers to the QB. What if DS might be somehow figuring out their place? <laughs> Anything's possible, right? Of course. I doubt it, but it looks that way the way the game's going. Bennett on the catch at his own 30. Bennett says, hello, everybody. Oh, Goodbye. Down to the five. Touchdown. 30-yard wow. run by Johnny Bennett on the punt return. Wow. Wow. <sighs> It's like they don't even know he's there. Holy smokes. And then this, the speed just kicked in right there. And well, I saw and two linebackers coming after him. Forget it. Yeah, he just put the Jets on right there. The afterburner, boom. Made sure he was in bounds. And we have a lead. A good lead now. Murphy. Now has, oh my gosh, he kicked that into the middle you know, school. <laughs> what an impressive difference between last year and this year. I, I got to say something. He can play lacrosse, but the football team may be needing a kicker up there. Yeah. Can you believe that leg? That's wonderful. Lacrosse is such a great sport, too, though. Oh, it's yeah. Just absolutely. I was here for the playoffs when they won the championship last spring, and I love lacrosse. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. It's one of the um, earliest. North American sports yeah. as the, as the um, North American Indians developed it. Yep. So, 
Nick Malcolm will be receiving the ball. Back deep is Tinio. Oh, Tinio. Let's see what I like about that. Tinio. Tinio. And Studley. They're standing at their own eight, and they're both thinking, uh, do we want to catch it this time? You know, I suggest you do, because you started out your own 20 the last two drives, and you really went nowhere. It's fast. So 636, sorry, in the quarter, mm. 14 to nothing. Um, Nipbuck is, Nip is in Division 6 in the Dew Valley League. Currently, they're rated number 29. As I said earlier, they went 1-3 and three last year. DS is in TVL Small. Uh, they graduated six seniors, did the Raiders. Hey, look at that. Studley's got it. Studley to his 20. Now you're making progress. No, you're not. <laughs> mm. He traversed and went down. Yeah. And DS is rated number nine in Division Five after one game. That's going to go up as they keep winning. Oh, yeah. And that was a nice pat tackle by Henry Moore, by the by. Another developing player that Steve Ryan likes. Yeah. He has developed his team into a, a very solid powerhouse. You know, from the very first uh, time he was coach, he's come tremendously far. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he, it was a learning experience for him being a, a well-known baseball sure. coach. Ball at the 21. Two receivers to the right. Zergui and, um, is that Kamalak? Maybe. One back. Quarterback looking a little confused, calls the signals out, now he's ready. Right-handed throw, caught by Tinio. Tinio up to the 25, there you go. and a four-yard pickup. Yeah, I was gonna say, they get about half of it, and um, that's nice okay spot. for them, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, got five yards. It says to go on the six, but it's right in front of us. So it's five and a half, so yeah, round, round up. It's a beautiful night here. Isn't it? Yeah. Originally I was saying earlier in the week, thunder showers, forget it. Yeah. This is perfect weather. Had a little spit today, but it cleared up quick. Quarterback has it, protection good, airs it out. Way down the far oh. side, overthrown by a seven or eight yards. You know, that just looked like it was a heaved throw. Yep. You know? It, it seems like a schoolyard play. You run to the spot, and I'll throw it there, except you won't be there. Yeah. And I think with any kind of game, you could demoralize the other team by two, two, two quick scores like that. Oh, yeah. Wow. We assume a lot of people are at home at Nipmuc, which is in the uh, land of Menden Upton, and they're watching this game in the live stream. We hope we welcome you in. And of course, our Dover Sherburne crowd and crowds around the world who might be watching our live stream. Bruce Glazer, Art Crandall, and our Dover Sherburne cable access crew with a okay. third and seven screen left side. And what happened there is the back had to come back for the ball, and that killed the play. Yeah. yeah. Chino had it. But he had to come back, and you're going the wrong way. Fourth down, kicking. You know, everybody just read that for what it was at, you know? Putt and return team up front. Bowen, Rossbottom, Murphy, Banerjee. Banerjee, Olsen backing them up. Amadi, Moore, Polk, Kissling. The up back will be KB and Bennett, the deep return man, who has five touchdowns on the season already. Three at Weston, two here. He is just an amazing treat to be able to watch. Do not kick it to him. So what do they do? They kick it short. Oh, no. Well, he won't return that one, will he? <laughs> Goes right out of bounds to oh, the DS bench. Oh, my goodness. Nipmunk certainly has presented Dover Sherburn with tremendous field position during the whole first quarter of this game. If you're the Nipmunk, Nipmunk coaching staff, what do you say to your team? Hey, you're doing everything we didn't talk about. I don't know. Young, you know. Yeah, young. young. They, yeah, they don't have many seniors. I counted them out there. There are several seniors in the team, but this is a very young Nipmuc team. We have an official's timeout, I think. Now, it's Nip Nipmuc, it's a like trade school, isn't it? Or no, is it's, it a, it's school? a regional. It's a regional. Regional school. It's, it's okay. um, Menden Upton. It's out past Milford. They are definitely a two-town regional school. Okay. 
very similar in that respect to Dover Sherborne. Danny Sullivan with time, line drive, caught, turned around by, ooh, I didn't put his name on the roster, silly me, Brian, Brian Olson. Olson. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Olson's a new name on this team. He's a uh, sophomore. As we say. As we say. Or as Keith Jackson used to say. Mm. Only a sophomore. So I got, I'll talk after this play, Bruce. Sure, of course. Second down, about five. Sullivan knows he's in trouble. Heaves it up there. Ball short. KB can't get it anyway. It's out of bounds. Yes, sir. I like the way KB takes that approach to uh, catching the ball. One-handed, bring it in. It was out of bounds. He knew it, but I like that. We saw such natural ability and instinct from him last year. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, I have to. I found out uh, that we are not streaming live tonight. Jeez, so it's, I, I guess we're streaming. We're streaming live on a huddle camera. Correct, but we're not. Yeah, so it's a huddle camera that's uh, streaming live. They don't hear us. So this is gonna be on video. I'm confused. Yep. So we're talking to nobody? Correct, we're talking to whoever's gonna watch the show. Sullivan, line drive, caught, KB. Nice. First down. So it'll be a live video, like the Charlie Chaplin, right? Like Charlie Chaplin, with, without the subtitles. <laughs> no. Nope. Yep, Brad's going, what? <laughs> No. It's live video, but no audio. I like that. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's from that camera over there. We're doing the Wi-Fi over there, right? And what you're seeing, what they're seeing is just basically that camera where it's, you know, everybody's huddled up over there. And so the audio will only be the noise that the sidelines make. And our mics are not cooked up. Um, but, but is our camera working? Our camera, everything's working. So got it. go back two years ago. When Sully. Pump fakes, end zone, oh, picked off, oh picked off by the free safety and quarterback Oscar Clock. Nice return to his own 28-yard line. Wow, that was just tremendous, tremendous. Nice interception. He threw, unfortunately, he threw it into traffic, and uh, Nipmuc had a great position. They were in better position. As you can see right there. Yep. You know, Sullivan was in trouble, and he threw it into three-man coverage. Yeah. And that's a, a young man's mistake. Mm -hmm. He tried to force a play that wasn't there for him. But on the other side of it, they're at their own 28. Nice return by the quarterback. Very nice. Free safety. Yeah. And now he comes back to run his offense. He has Lozano next to him, and a staggered. Nope, there are. No, now Lozano's moving the other way. I don't know where I want to be. To the left of his quarterback. They got a million in motion, Studley. I don't know, Studley with the ball He's yet. He's got the ball, yep. On a misdirection of Studley, he boots ahead for about three yards. That was a nice run. That was a very nice run. And uh, he cut up pretty well and got a few yards out of that, so good for him. You know, speaking of cheerleaders, last year I went to the Norton game, DS Norton, and um, speaking of cheerleaders earlier, <laughs> it was pouring. And the poor cheerleaders, Norton didn't have much of a team last year. And the cheerleaders are out there screaming and cheering. I felt so bad for them because they were doing their best, but the team wasn't returning it. Mm. Happens. Mm -hmm. Man in motion, Tinio with the football, tucks it into his elbow, twists around, spins around, and he's knocked down by a combination of Willie Bowen and uh, number 72, Kane, Ryan Kane. Yeah, there was great pursuit there. If he got a yard, that's, uh, that's lenient, I think. They tried the same uh, play on the other side, but it didn't go this side. Captains for the home team are Johnny Bennett, Henry Murphy, Derek Daly, and Ryan Kane. You know, you hear uh, Derek Daly and Ryan Kane a lot on mm -hmm. defense, don't you, huh? Right in the line there. Looking at a four-man front. And I don't know if yep, there's no blitz coming. Third and long. There's an outside blitz, but oh. the ball is dropped and a flag on the play. They're saying I think that KB hit him too soon. It might have been interference. 
Yeah, it's really quick. It was great camera action. I'm sure we'll see that on Insta Replay. I didn't see it, but yeah. uh, we got an injured player. Amadi oh. is injured. Ifosa Amadi. Yeah. And that'll be an official's timeout. Um, very close contact on that play. If they're going to call it, it's okay. It's legitimate. Last year, Bennett led his team with um, what's the six, uh, let's see, six of the 16 touchdowns. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. Go ahead. What did you see? No, they, they Mike uh, just did, Mike's in the booth. He did the replay. Um, did he? It wasn't the I, I don't know. It, it was Mike. Can you run that replay again? A little anyway, slower. If we can slow it down, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Are we wide so Mike can hear us? Yeah, okay. So if, if Osa Ahmadi has helped off the field, he's had injury problems. Yeah. The past you know, here years. it is. Here's the play. And right, it was, oh, it's going to be really close. They're gonna, they called it. Yeah. I, mean, I can see yeah. it. I can see it. Yeah. Well, anyways, the team had 16 touchdowns in five games, and Johnny Bennett led them with 60. And, and Henry Murphy kicked a 32-yard field goal last season in the spring. But you know something? Murphy can do better than that. I'll bet you if it comes down to it, he can easily kick a 50-yarder. <laughs> Especially with no win tonight. Yeah. I mean, he's got a leg. Very strong. Well, Nipmuc, as far as they've gone in this half, a, a bucket of qu buck quarter to go in the first quarter. Quarterback yells him out. Clock has the ball. Throws left. Man open. Oh. And he drops the ball. Yeah. Studley had it and just dropped it. Just dropped it. Just dropped it. You know, and that's one of the things that it, maybe it's the first game, maybe it's something you got to get those uh, heebie-jeebies out, or you know. But I'm sure they do it in practice a lot, and sometimes you just drop the ball. Yep. The pros do it all the time. Ball just outside the 43 on the visitor's side of the field. They've got a second and nine. And a second and ten. I mean, he dropped the ball. Look where the marker is. He's got to give him like a two-foot gain, and when he dropped the ball, yeah. they're not paying attention. It's second and ten. I don't know. That was a, a nothing. That was a, a bump. Wow. I'll bump into you. You bump into me. Play, and it went wow. nowhere. Henry Murphy. Well, they gave Murphy pretty a time to come in because they weren't running the play well. Look. Yeah. He had a... He had no blocker. You got a back there who's doing nothing except watching the game, and nobody had a chance. He was back in the field almost at the time the ball would get to the quarterback for kind of laugh. So now we're looking at a third and a long 14. Yeah. 45 seconds and running in the quarter, and this could be the last play of the quarter. There's really no win, so it doesn't matter which side of the field you're playing on. There's no win tonight. It's a no. perfect evening. It's beautiful. Mm. Quarterback clock. Got a man. Wide Studley open. holds on, but he's not near the first down marker. He's at midfield, and that play was supposed to be a catch and run, but it was executed poorly. Nice catch, but you got a kick on fourth down. Well... You know, if they don't kick and they try to go for it, yeah. this is probably the best field position how often, that they would have given Dover Sherburn. How often does this happen? The quarter's over and the ball will not move. They're going to lift it up just to show me I'm wrong. Yeah. But the ball's going back. The, it was right. exactly on the 50. That will never happen again this year. Watch. That's, that's pretty incredible. Yeah, isn't that rare? Yeah. Totally rare. When DS comes out on offense, their offensive line will consist of Kane, Banner, Banerjee, Daly, Robinson, and Darren. So the interesting thing, what they did there, was they moved the ball oh, yeah. from the near hash mark oh. to the far hash mark because the the team is going the other direction Oh, now. for crying out loud. Yeah. But still, I mean, my point is made. Your point is made. They didn't have to walk <laughs> anything but straight a line, right. straight down. <laughs> so the starting wideouts for Dover Sherboard are KB and Olsen with Bennett and Polk at the wings. Danny Sullivan, the quarterback, and Ifosamadi was the um, running back, but he's been hurt. We don't know what his status is, but a punt coming up. You know, i got to give kudos to the Dover Sherburn cable TV team. Um, we've got a monitor right in front of us and uh, a nice setup. Good job, guys. Really good job wired and everything here and 
not tripping over it. Awesome. You know, um, nice job. And you know, we do this, we being mm. Dover Sherman mm. Cable TV, for everybody. You know, so everybody who can't make the game, who wants to watch the game, the coaches, we don't want them to listen to it live. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination. You know, this is an opportunity. Do your own play-by-play, -play, right? You're <laughs> aspiring. You know, sportscasters out there, we're giving you the opportunity. Do not thank us. All right. On the live feed over there in the huddles corner. They're going for it. Yes, sir. And the quarterback's in real trouble, throws it out of bounds. And I think that was a very bad decision on the coaching part because the last thing you want to do is give Dover Sherbland let a half a field to work with. You know, it's a very interesting call for a play. They are on the, the far side hash mark. <coughs> And they basically rolled a little bit right toward the short end of the field. Yeah, yeah. And so that obviously cut the quarterback, who's a I righty. Stand out. He, he he would have to throw all the plant yeah. and throw yeah. all the way across the field, which doesn't usually happen. And I think the big fear was kicking it to Bennett and him returning it. Well, if you're going to be fearful of that, you got to you have to go for it in your own twenty. I mean, you can't think like that. You kick the ball deep. He doesn't have a good punter. But the ball was the 50. Kick it down to the 20. Make him start down there. Uh-uh. Right. They're at half, half field right now. Ben is in the backfield. Quarterback drops. Sullivan. Wide far open. side. Wide Olsen open. open. See you around town. 50-yard touchdown. You know, they can run that play all night long. He just, I'm going to tell you that Olsen just, as you can see, protection is great. Just throws it up. He's wide open. Perfect stride. In stride. Just turns around. Grabs the ball. Continues his stride. Outstanding. Outstanding. He's only a sophomore. Big sophomore, too. He is big, yeah. Got good size. Yep. Murphy coming back for the extra point attempt. His holder will be Henry Moore. Number one made. Yes. Uh, who, Sullivan? Olsen. Oh, yes, that's right. Olsen was the big kid in the basketball team. That's right. Thank you, Brad. Brad Crandall, our cameraman. I forgot about him. Big dude. He's a sophomore Big now. Dude, huh? He and Sullivan were the up and comers in the basketball team, and now you see it on the on the big, on the football team. This is not baseball. On the football team. I think this is what you call clockwork. It's so smoothly done. Yeah. You know what's interesting? A lot of not everybody, but some of the athletes can can play a couple sports or. Mm -hmm. Or even if they don't start in that sport, they're, they're just really good. I played a pickup game, basketball, against Doug Flutie one time. Um, and uh, Where was this? Uh, it was at um, one of the gyms mm -hmm. in uh, Natick. And he just, he's so fast. Mm -hmm. He's just so fast. Mm -hmm. And he can jump. And it was just like covering him was just, you just watch and go like, wow. Can I sit down now, coach? <laughs> I like to watch him play. Yeah, he was fast. Just amazing. Henry Murphy's leg not getting tired yet. Kicks a spinner deep. Studley says, okay, I'm going to return it again this time. Here comes Studley. A pass to Schwart. Doesn't hit the 25, just outside of it. And that's where Nip Muck will take the ball. You know, it's kind of interesting in looking at Nip Muck's defense, uh, offense, but uh, on how they're they're blocking for uh, protection. It doesn't seem like there's a wedge or there's there's anything. It's just happenstance blocking I people. And uh, I can tell. I think their coach is fairly new. If you remember, when we were doing games several years ago, they came here and blitzed us. Oh. Uh, then we went down there the following year. Oh, my gosh. It was awful. And one of those years, they won the state title in the division. And they had outstanding players. But it's, it's you know, what's the word? This turnover. Every year, there's turnover. And that's what high school and college sports are all about. Yeah. More so in college, I think. But, um, and you lose some of your best players, and you don't always recover for a while. This is a rebuild for Nipmuc. There's no question. 
two receivers left. And they got a, um, it's like a wing to the right. And he's in motion. Quarterback keeps it. And they're not fooled by that one, are they? So you're down by three scores, and you show them we got nothing. Right. And the defense just swarms looking for the right. kill. Derek Daly's going, well, you know, come on. I didn't have to get thrown down like that. Come on, ref. Derek Daly's a brute, and I think they know that <laughs> coming into the game, and they want to slow him down by all means. But mm -hmm. still, they what did they pick up on this? Nothing. Maybe half a yard. Yeah, it says two. Two. It's a generous two. Mm. Even from our lousy angle, mm. it's a generous two. That's why I'm pretty much watching the uh, All right, two. The video have it. here. It's great definition here. Yeah, you like our monitor. Is that a new monitor, Brad? New switching equipment. Oh, yeah, it looks ah. sharp. It really does. It looks nice. It does. It's not helping Nipmuc right now. <laughs> Clock pass over the middle. Oh. He had two people caught yeah. and neither of them caught the ball. I don't know if either one thought it was for the other or what, but both of them had a great opportunity. One was coming at a slant. The other one was doing like a little button hook. Yeah. And the ball went between them. <laughs> yeah. Can we see that on replay again on that? Mike's been Johnny on the spot with the replays. Right there. It's like, see, it was like, who was that? Number 16 is it? Uh, number 86? Pulled up. Yeah, he I, did. I thought maybe he doesn't want to crash into his teammate. That's what I thought, yeah. too. Well, that's a, a dead play in that sense. Yeah. Third down, eight, a long eight. Going for the bomb again. Overthrown. Yeah. Hirsch on the coverage, and they're punting. Emily Sullivan is our athletic director here at Dover Sherborne. Sue Conley is her assistant. The trainer is new. Despina Arabatsis is our new trainer. Oh. And the head of grounds doing a great job is Chris Hendricks with the crew. Head coach Steve Ryan, assisted by Dan Bennett, Bobby Conrad, Eric Lecciato, Robert Mosher, Dave Sullivan, Mike Bus uh, Mike Sony, yeah. and George Webb, who did a nice job interviewing the coach in the um, coach's corner that John Foley set up with us. John Foley. I knew I'd do it. John, <laughs> John Daly. That's the last time I'll do that. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's a little better. Nice get, roll. Yeah. So John Daly set up a coach's corner program where every week we'll have interviews with coach, assistant coaches, and some of the players, which is a nice treat for the kids, a nice promotion for a, a solid team that deserves the kudos. That's wonderful. It certainly is. He'll be working some games with us as well. Um, I do want to mention why you're, um, uh, you'll, you'll be doing the Dedham game. You know, the Dedham game is going to be a sad game. They're coming here. Uh, did you read about Alonzo Polk and the swimming accident in Dedham? That swimming one, accident? Yeah, well, he was at a pool party, a graduation party, and um, there was poor to, to very little um, supervision. Somehow, he was in the pool and he drowned. Oh, my God. Yeah, and they couldn't revive him. Alonzo Polk played basketball, and he played football for Dedham. He would have graduated and gone on to college, I assume. So we just want to send sympathies out to oh, Dedham because we haven't had a chance to do it until now. Sullivan down the far side. Knocked away by a defender, I believe. Number 28 knocked it away, Brady Kamerlick. The ball was either overthrown or Kamerlick knocked it away. KB has speed, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. You see our press box, and the fi the stands are filled. Yeah, and you can see, so right here, Way up balls here. up, and it's a little bit of out of bounds, actually. I'm not sure the DB made any play on yeah. that. Yeah, it was a little bit out of bounds. Hmm. So he turned the other way. That was the answer to that question, Bruce. Yes, sir. Quick handoff to Afosa Amadi, who's back in the game for a short game. Good to see him cut in an angle and come back in and return after his injury earlier. Yeah, you never like to see uh, no. anybody get hurt. Never. Especially at this age, you know, it's, it's just, could affect their whole life. Mm -hmm. Just remember tonight when it's like late season and we're saying, why is it so cold here? Because we got our rewards early on. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is one of those beautiful September nights. Friday night football, as mm -hmm. they say. 
Olsen wide right, Bennett in the slot. Lafosa next to his quarterback, sets protection up, right over the middle! Knocked that was, away. Uh, could have been a flag, I thought. Yeah, I uh, thought he had his hand or arm over the receiver's shoulder. Yeah. No call. Oh, my. Jennifer KB over the middle, incomplete. Fourth down, and what will they do? You know, I think you get fourth and seven, fourth and a seven and a half. You can go for it. I think he was a little bit harassed there, but I, I guess the question was, was the ball catchable? Yeah, good point. It was overthrown. Yeah. I think that's the ruling on the field. Yeah. They're going for it. I don't blame them. You got the three touchdown lead. 8.15 to go in the second quarter. Sullivan drops back. Protection good. Line drive caught. Oh. And Bennett a little short of the first down. Yeah, I think they might be a little short. Yep. So they go for the fifth down, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be close. Mm, uh, not close enough. It's, uh, it is a first down. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's the angle, I think, yes, we're at It's definitely the angle, yeah. 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 When that happens, I just keep quiet now <laughs> until <Yeah>. I know. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Didn't make it by much, but made it by enough. And this is going to be a key play in the game because the Amachim. And Nipmuc has not shown much progress in stopping them. Four-man line for, the, for Nipmuc. Misdirection, I believe that's Afosa Amadi with a nice run. Yeah. Yep, Afosa for a nice pickup. I'm, I'm gonna say eight and see how they mark it. <laughs> yeah, and I think what we'll see is uh, when John, uh, when Johnny Bennett was in motion, he just came and was one of the blockers for uh, one of the, uh, I, I didn't catch his number, but it, it opened up the hole for uh, Amadi. Amadi, yeah. So they give him a first down. He made the 10. Nice pickup, first and 10 from the 38. Mm. Straight ahead dive, doesn't work. No. Definitely didn't work. No. It's a loss of yardage. Hamadi back to the huddle. Yeah. Nipmuc had to come out and dominate with the run, and the only time they really dominated was when the quarterback took the ball and ran down the near sideline. Uh, since then, they've had problems on both sides of the ball. Mm. And if you give Dover Sherborne some space, they're going to take it to you. Yeah. And right in back of us, unfortunately, we got... Uh, one of the, uh, I, I think it's Joe Carlson, who's a senior. He got sh shooken up one of the plays. And uh, he's off the field kind of trying to recover. That ball is caught! Into the end zone is KB! Amazing. Amazing. Well, as we can see on the instant replay here, is great protection. Absolutely fantastic protection. And KB waited he just for it. Got the ball. Yep. He wasn't led per se, but he battled for the ball, and uh, and uh, KB came down with it. 5:28 to go in the half. Murphy remains perfect on the year. Wow. I had a feeling this was going to happen. This is reminiscent of the opening game, uh, very similar against Weston, where the other team is rebuilding, and Nip and, and Dipmuck and Weston, both of them rebuilding years, and Dover Sherborne in a championship potential season is just striving forward with every play. Let's see if I can put some numbers here together. Two, uh, four touchdowns in the game, two by Bennett. Uh, one by, uh, one by KB, one by Olson, and that is three passing touchdowns already for Sullivan. Last week, um, 
Sullivan had one mm, too. Nice. What do they call that? A pyramid? Yeah. 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 Last week, Sullivan had three touchdown passes. He's got three today. That's six for the junior. That's quite impressive. For <laughs> yeah. And, and we're not even at halftime no, in the second no. game. No. Outstanding. There's Grandma. what we're used to. <laughs> That's Tinho, I believe, returning it past his 20. Tinho stopped. Nice tackle on the play by Olsen as well as some other blue shirts. He didn't get too, too awfully far on that one. You know, you know the worst part? If this is the score at halftime, um, Nipmuc goes into the locker room thinking, we've got to play the second half. I'm not being insulting here, but they're gonna think they're gonna feel worse when they're sitting down saying, "What do we do?" Well, and the coach says, "Just try to improve, because that's all you can do. One score at a time." You know, I think at this point, um, you're right, and the, and the coach goes, "Hey, you know what? Pretend it's zero to zero mm. out there. You know, yeah. zero to zero. We got a whole second half, and uh, you know they scored 28 in their first half. We can score 28 in our second half." No laws against that. I know one team was down 28-3 to three at halftime or something. They came back and won the game. Short pickup. And it's the second week yeah. in a row where the scoreboard is not fully working. At Weston, we got basic stuff like, oh, it's second quarter and it's second down. I couldn't get any spotting of the ball. and Now it's going here, too. We don't know where the ball is. Was the scoreboard working well earlier? A little bit, yeah. So you so knew where the ball was. Yeah. Now it stopped. Yeah. Ball on the 22, maybe? But you know, I have no idea. Because of our angle once again. I think it's on the 27. Yeah, I'm going with that. Whatever. 27. Close enough. When it gets to the midfield, I'll be, I'll be much more accurate. Nice turn in pass to Studley. Ooh. He catches it for the first down. 11 on 11, right there. That's not going to happen. Henry Moore <laughs> on Studley. Yeah. 11 on 11. You see a lot of it in basketball. We yeah. have guys using the same numbers, yeah. playing opposite yeah. each other. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think they stopped using the number cards. The QB came to the sideline. Maybe they were thinking what I was thinking, that maybe somebody's seeing their numbers, or they scouted them last week and figured the numbering system out. It's possible. Could be. I'll keep watching that for you. How's that? Two backs, one a fullback, a big fullback, number 78. Protection good, over the middle, Studley again to his own 48. Close to another first down, makes it the 43. He's about four yards shy from the 43. That was a nice catch. That was a nice catch. Kazi Hassan is that big fullback with number 78, but he told the official, I'll play lineman and fullback and just keep watching me wherever I am. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's in the backfield now. And I guess he can run a dive. Timeout. I think he can run a dive. Officials timeout. It's Nipmuck's first, I believe. Well, it's starting to get a little windy here as the sun's gone down. And uh, I can feel a little mist in the air. You can see. Uh, I do see some. As yuck. I see on the light, you can yeah. see the halo thing right around the light. So foggy, fog rolling in. So Nipmuc has a second and two. And I think the coach is saying, there's 305 to go. Let's get a nice, solid drive go going. Nothing fancy. Let's move the ball downfield and look forward to the second half. What choice do you have? Not much. Really not much at all. I think it's uh it's interesting nutmeg 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 <laughs> nip monk called the timeout, I apologize. Um you I think you should call them the Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors. <laughs> yeah. Uh interesting they call the timeout. I think he just wanted to set them up, not, not to make any bad plays, slow them down, yeah. get them organized. There's no other reason for it. No. They're not burned out. No. I hope. <laughs> no. Just to kind of level set them, maybe, huh? One deep back, one big fullback. They're coming. Hand off, whistle. Someone moved, I think. 
Yeah, backfield moved improperly. False. Um, looks like backfield in motion. I didn't see it. I didn't see it either, but the official saw it. Yeah. We have to go along with him. Well, always do. I got. I see a nice little cheat sheet there. That's awesome. I found it on a website for um, penaltycard.com. Really? Comes laminated. It was like I don't know. It was, it was not expensive, and I thought I need something to help me out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Penaltycard.com, huh? All sports or what? Uh, I'm not sure. I, it's definitely all, a lot of football. I'm not sure if it's um. Whoa! A nice attempt, but no catch. On the on this near side, right in front of us, Carmelic with the attempt. I believe. I believe it's just football. Penaltycard.com. I don't know. It was ten, twelve dollars, and I thought, oh please, yes. I even took a picture of it, so I wouldn't. If I lost it, I'd still have my picture. That's awesome. <laughs> Third and six coming up. Ball just. Around, <laughs> I gotta see around for the rest of the game. It's even yeah, right? the forty-yard line. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna tell you. It's third down. It's two-down territory. There's two fifty-four to go in the half. Got a man in motion. Quarterback throws a screen to the left. Cuts back in. Tinio gets away from one, but then a stuffed shirt knocks him down. Two of them knock him down near his team bench. You know, Ronan Richards. Uh, he's he's a freshman. A defensive back. I was watching him on this uh, entire play, and he's a big boy, and he kept his ground. And even though they tried to push him away and block him, he went right back and was one of those blue shirts in that gang tackle. Nice play. I love the way Steve Ryan integrates young players into the game. You insert them in certain situations and let them learn. As long as you know that they're steady enough to, to take that kind of pressure. I believe another timeout by... Well, it's Nip fourth Muck. down. Yep. Yep. So they got a fourth and four on the 40... What do you want to call it? 42. I know yeah. it looks like 43. 43, maybe? <laughs> 43, yeah. 40. I would say 43. All right, fine. Fourth and four on the 43. They used this second of three timeouts, 207 to go in the half. By the way, speaking of Johnny Bennett, the last time that Dover Sherborne won the TVL championship was in 1978 when his, Dan, his son, his father, Dan, now an assistant coach in the team, was on that Isn't 1978 that team. Huh? And now Johnny wants to do the same in his senior year. That would be cool. And the potential is there. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Wouldn't it? Yeah. The home stands are filled with students on one side and mostly filled on the other side with parents and friends and relatives. Yeah. Are those new speakers up there? I, I don't remember seeing those round speakers before, do you? No, I can't see them. Really? Yeah, I'm right in front of the press box, those round things up there. Uh, they look new to me. Hmm. Well, maybe I haven't been paying attention. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I know why. I know why. We run that Tino, side, going nowhere but a loss. Wait, gotta let him go. It's fifth down, <laughs> which doesn't count, and so it's a turnover and downs. Um, I think last year we were in the home stands doing we games. Were. Remember? We were. And we never saw those. Speakers no, we didn't. If they were there. So if they were there. If they were there. So we got 155 to go in the half. Dover Sherman's ball, on the. Mm, so that's 38, maybe 37. 37. 37-yard line of the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having fun. It was the Nipmuc Indians back in the day. Yeah? yeah oh, yeah. Yeah. The Nipmuc American Native Tribe. I believe there was Lake, Lake Nipmuc out there. Bennett on a misdirection far side. Johnny in trouble, but maybe not. Johnny comes back. Johnny in trouble. Yeah. They really had nowhere to go. No, um, no. You know, that's one of the things when you go from the um, 
close hash mark to us to the to the other side it's a lot of real estate to cover and you got to cover that before you go forward you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of pursuit that can happen in between there clock down with dollar 18 hey this is field goal territory what do you think oh that huh? would be awesome wouldn't it sullivan over center hands off Straight right ahead. Through the middle. Afosa Amadi. They didn't even know he had the ball for a while. He split right through. They're moving quickly. Definite field goal territory. One minute to go. Clock running. First down. It's high snap. Quarterback drops. Throws to the right side. Wide open as Olsen turns it in. Now I'd use my timeout. That's just me talking, though. Nobody listens to me as the clock's moving. I think they just want to get close. Yeah, Sullivan's going to get close, and they're going to get a touchdown or a field goal attempt with 35 seconds. Yeah, I, would, I still would have used the timeout. Well, just take them. Eh, they don't really need it. Second down. Well, the wind is now blowing a little bit. Pitch. Bennett, far side on the end around. Tries to cut it up. Got nowhere to go. Cuts it back in. Bennett, nice yardage on the end of the play as he slanted in to get closer to pay dirt. Now they don't use the timeout. They're going to use it now with 11.9 seconds to go. They use their first timeout and decide what to do next. Yeah, I'd like to see that on the instant replay because I'll tell you, uh, there was one blocker. I didn't see who that was, but when we, when we get it, uh, we get it. It's right now, watch, watch this, Bruce. Sorry. It's a nice handoff right there, and it was, oh, it was, uh, it was, uh, KB, uh, KB, KB. And, Are you surprised? And, and he was just waiting, 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 and KB finally got the block to turn the guy one way, and Bennett went it's, right the it's, opposite way. A lot of times, it's not your size that counts; it's your heart. Mm -hmm. And the kid's got speed and a great heart and athleticism. So they are now first and goal on the five. And I have this feeling they're going to take one shot at the end zone and then go for the field goal. Well, you heard it from Coach Bruce on well, this I mean, one. Well, they're, they're at the five. Yeah. You can just throw it away very easily if you see nothing open, yeah. and then you go for the field goal. Yeah. We'll see. This will be a kind of interesting one. It could go right up the middle. could be a little pitch out. Quarterback in the shotgun to his right is Amadi. Runs to his right. Going to take it himself. Running, 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 running. Is he in? He's in. Touchdown. Uh, did no. you get the official signal? I didn't see the official signal. Well, then one of the players. He looks right. Oh, no. It's on the goal line. Yeah. One of the players yelled touchdown. I shouldn't have paid attention to him. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no time on the clock, my friend. And, you know, I think that was a run the whole way. I, I, yeah, it might have been from the inside out. Yeah, yeah. Brad Crandall saying he knocked down the pillar, the pylon, the pylon. But it all depends where you hit it. Yes. One time play, one untimed play. Because why? Three seconds. There we go. Was the saying? Well, is he say, they say he went out of bounds. Unless it was a penalty, but they're putting three seconds back on the clock. Do we know why? Now, that can, a penalty will do that or an out of bounds, but there's no time on the clock. I think it was an out of bounds. Basically, I think it was an out of bounds. But they're saying there's, there's like. They wanted to put three seconds back on the clock. Of course, now it's no, way off. Yeah, it's but okay, say so you went out of bounds with three. They're going to run it straight ahead. I don't think that's going to work. And you know, I still would have gone for the field goal because it's points. It's points. It doesn't matter. You're up 28 nothing. But, uh, you know, I agree with you. I would have gone for the points. Yeah. But, you know, something, it's also considered sometimes you're rubbing it in by not playing the game, you know, from the line of scrimmage by going for the easy field well, goal. Eh, you know, you can I don't get know. it both ways. Yep. And that's the, uh, that's the half. And you've dominated the first half. It's not like you're worried about scoring points. Right. We are at halftime. We'll let you stare at this field for a while. Of course, you watching the live stream haven't heard us at all, but on the replay, we hope you're enjoying it. You are now watching Dover Sherborne High School Football. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. 
We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 230,000 participants here in Massachusetts who take part in high school sports. Hi, my name is George Webb and I'm president of the Gridiron Club for the Dover Sherburn Football Raiders Varsity Football Program. We'd like to thank all of you for the sponsorship and donations to the endowment. The program sponsors uh, and picks up a lot of the budget items that the Dover Sherburn School System is not able to provide for our football team. We pick up additional coaching, training, and team events for, uh, for the athletes so that they can continue to have uh, all the resources they need to have a successful and winning football program. Again, we've, won the f uh, we've had winning seasons five out of the last six seasons. A good part of that has been uh, contributed to and supported by the community and the endowment that supports the program. If you'd like to continue to contribute to the endowment, we'd encourage you to go to the DoverSherburnGridiron.com. There's a link there and we welcome your contribution. It's a 501c3 organization, not-for-profit, supporting the team. We also benefit from gate receipts. So coming out and supporting your team on Friday nights when we have home games is really important to help support the endowment, but it's even more important to support the athletes. The teams work, the kids work very hard, and again, they're coming up on uh, the potential for a fourth winning season in a row. So we've been in town for a long time, and it's been a while since we've had uh, a team that's been uh, this successful. So again, thank you for your support, and please continue to support the Dover Sherburn Gridiron Club. Nipmuc doing the honors for the second half. They kick off, and they've been used to it. Running the ball back far side, Johnny Bennett. Look out, everybody. Back to towards midfield at the 45-yard line. They stop him. And there was a nice open field tackle by, as I get out my page, number 56. I don't see him. Maybe 57. I'll go to 57. And that was Nick Byrne. I believe he said... Mr. Ross Bottom said it's the 42-yard line. I'm going with him on that. <laughs> He's got a better angle than I do. Oh, um, all right, you know what it is? If you see the ball at the 43, march it back a yard. From, from about the, four, oh, oh, from about the, the 45 back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Add, add a, um, march it back one yard. That'll be closer. Sullivan over center. Lafosa Amati. Nice gain. Lafosa. Several yards in the pickup. We'll wait for the spot. He did what I did. The PA announcer said, Amadi Afosa. I did that with him and his brother for a while. Then I realized, <laughs> wait a minute, their last name is Amadi, so the first name would be the other name. Right. <laughs> but it's tough with that name. You can get fooled easily. Not everybody's named Ryan Kane to make it easier. Everybody. No, no, no. No, it can't but, be that way. Hey, that's America. That's right. Melting pot. America. KB on the near side. Got it by Kamalak. One receiver top right as well. They switch around. And the run is to a body. He's got a nice truck hole and a flag late on the play. Hmm. Now, I wonder what that flag was. It's going to be interesting. I'm watching Mr. Official calling a hold on Dover Sherborne to bring that play back. See, over here, of course, the official station away from us. Oh, I think. Uh, Did hmm. you see it? I think it was. It was uh, over here. I didn't get the number. I can't see your finger I think it was. I think <laughs> it was uh, actually KB. Oh, was it really? Who might have held. Yeah. you lose your Apple iPhone, Bruce? No, but they lost one that's in the press box. <laughs> that's right. Oh, it's mine. I hope it makes somebody prove it's theirs, right? Right. Oh, I know it's mine, but I don't know my um, password. Then it's not yours. So we are looking at second and 11 after the penalty. Back to the shotgun is Dan Sullivan, the junior right-hander. Drops back in the pocket, throws, intercepted. Oh, no! Most. No, a linebacker, number 54, Jack Byrne, couldn't have asked, well, he could have asked for an easier pick because yeah. that one wasn't easy for him, was it? Well, 
you know, sometimes when you're not expecting it, yeah. and it comes right there, and it's like, crap. Or you say to yourself, you got to be kidding, and then you drop the ball. But he, he stopped the play, and that's what really counts. Yeah. Third and 11. And he was going the other way, too, so we had to turn back to try to catch the ball. Has Dober Sherb one punted yet? No. And John Daly pointed out to me that if you look at the last two games, um, Dan Sullivan's three touchdowns each game, so far they've both all come in the first half. He, I don't believe he's thrown a touchdown in the second half because he hasn't had to. But six touchdowns in the equivalent of one game, but two played. Nice try. Olsen can't hold on. And I do remember him from basketball, as Brad was pointing out. Um, the kid's solid. He's a big boy. Mm -hmm. getting bigger, too, huh? So, Brad, do we know who's in the truck? Mike Klein just left our general manager. Sebastian's down there. You can write his last name down, but I'm always going to forget it. Huh? We got... Um, ah, here we go. Here we go. Sebastian Seb Hassar. And Alex? Versa. Versa. And I think Cam Crandall's in the... Uh, running the... I haven't He's seen on Instagram. Oh, Cam's on Instagram. That's why we haven't seen him. KB comes left. I can't see um, who's to the right. Somebody. They got two to the right, including Olsen. Long count. Sullivan back. Picks oh off. Oh, my Threw it goodness. Right to him, unfortunately. Yeah. And yeah. we're looking at a nice return of about. <laughs> about the 40 yard line maybe down to the 15 ish picked off by Mike Tino I think not sure let's see who comes off yeah I think it was Tino the ball to 15 so the return yeah. is roughly 25 yards I mean it went right into his chest you know Tino he he saw that whole play coming and he just said thank you very much yeah he read it very well yeah the problem for them is can they march it 15 yards you know it's it's it is a question isn't it we haven't seen uh, but a few solid plays so now we're looking for one nice straight ahead by Chinyo. by the way they're missing one of their better receivers in a uh, Peter Clodier Clodier hasn't played today so that's a, a negative for them and I see him on the sideline, but I have not seen him on the field. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if he's injured or what, or not feeling well. But he's here. Short pickup of one. So the ball on the 14. We are in the third quarter. Bruce Glazer, Art Crandall at Dover Sherborne High School football field. The Norris Seal Searle Field, 841 to go in the quarter. Four touchdown lead all in the first half from Dover Sherborne. Nothing from the visitors, but they try to get on the board. This is Chinyo weaving, weaving forward closer to the first down. You know, I haven't seen too many passes lately from uh, Netma. No, no. Um, a handful. And when you're down by that much, you think yeah. it's more. Should be more. Should be more than a handful. Mm. So I, I think don't know if Clark. Uh, Oscar. Well, he threw a 61-yarder last week, but considering those are the only points they scored, it's not not a lot to say. No. The wide receiver is Carmelick. Wide left, Studley to the near side right. Yeah, that's really wide, this play. Looking in the end zone. Caught. Oh. Chino looks like he might be in. He's close, but he's out of bounds. Mike Chino with the reception. Well, that was a solid play by uh, the Warriors. He was wide open, too. Yeah, I think uh, Ross Bottom uh, pushed him. They gave him enough room. He could catch the ball, but not get into the end zone. So Ben and Ross Bottom prevented that. Let's go see this play, Bruce. To run all the way. And a run that stopped. Yeah. So now it's second down. I don't think they got anything. 
They're at the three. This is a disadvantage for Nipbuck because they have not, not much field to play with. No. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but they only have three yards to go. But they are not a passing offense. They're going to have to run the ball, and Dover Sherborne is going to stuff a lot of runs. And, you know, to that point, they don't have any big backs. Well, they got 78, but he's a blocker. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I would mean, give it to him, let him run the ball. Who was that, uh, like they did with, uh, what's his name in the Super Bowl there? Yeah, right, right, right. They're running left. They're twisting left. Tinio, uh-uh. Not your time this time. So now they're looking at fourth down. A field goal does them no good if they could even make one. I don't know. Um, I don't have a lot of faith in that punter. He's the kicker. They come to the sideline. He gets to play, going back in. They're not using the number cards. Not anymore. No. So Clark comes back to the huddle. And I got to say, he's got to throw the ball. If you run up the middle, you might as well pack it and put it on the bus right now and go home. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. If they can't do that, the bus isn't here. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can't really tell on the camera, but the fog is starting to roll in here. Oh, yeah. The mist. Huh. Well, it's not quite ground level yet. High snap, turns around, throws a prayer. Knocked away by no. the receiver. Studley wants pass interference, will not get it. No. The ball was in his chest, he dropped it, and it'll be a turnover and downs at around the three. I'm being chased by a moth, believe it or not. Really? Yeah, he just flew up and said hi and went away. Yeah, there's the fog rolling in. You can see it a little bit there. Ah, nice, Brad. Yeah. Hey, Brad, that's your best shot of the game. Hey, Bruce, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> if we get burning, we're in big trouble. There's no burning any anymore, is there, Brad? There are, there are no spots that stick in the camera anymore. Remember the old days when you were young, very young? You'd stay on a light too long, it would burn in the camera. Yeah, the no iris. that stuff. Yeah. Forget it. Yeah. Then I will, that went out before VCRs went out. I think they auctioned off that, that cell phone. Could be. So it's fourth down, and they've lost two yards, so it's fourth and five. Is it fourth down? I thought it already was. Well, that's why they call it timeout. I lost it down somewhere. Yeah. Is it fourth down now? Fourth down. So they used another timeout. Okay. Okay, fine with me. They got two to go in the game. So they yeah, do they get, sorry, do they get, uh, you might want to explain that to the viewers. How many do they get a half? Three. Nothing carries over. Nothing Three carries half, over. No carryovers. I used, I used to thought they got more, perhaps. They no? might have. I always wondered, why do you high school kids who need the timeouts get less than the pros? Yeah. The pros shouldn't Same. need as many. Yeah. <laughs> they got TV timeouts come, coming up the wazoo, right? Right, right. I right. mean, good, tremendous amount of those. Okay. They've got... A one man backfield. They got a quarterback. They got two man backfield. I apologize. Pip, pump fake. Quarterback in the end zone. Throws it short. The zone falls. And Clark knows it. He's disgusted with himself as he comes to the sideline. He just had a receiver there and he threw it short. Uh, I think Carmelac was the intended. Yeah, you can see the fog rolling in on the uh, on the stands there. Looks like a smoke machine for crying out loud. The fog's coming in. Still not at ground level yet, but it's trying to eke its way down. They want Banerjee. First down under the shadows of their goalpost. The Nipmuc Warriors giving the ball up on fourth down, and here come the Raiders. I think that's Bennett. Uh, or Amati. Looking, looking, looking. Uh, uh -uh. <laughs> Still can't see that. Plus well, Amati you know, on the carry. Yeah. It's a wonderful um, well, the numbers. Thing, the thing with Afosa and Johnny Bennett, they're both small, thin players. Mm -hmm. So if one was tall and big, you could tell, but this far away, eh, we'll wait on it. They're your Nipmuc cheerleaders. Yeah. They, you know, they're athletes. You know, people go, oh, they're cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, a lot of them get hurt. They work every day. Yeah, absolutely. 
one Absolutely. bad move and they're in the hospital. That's true. That's very true. A running play that goes nowhere. 436 to go in the quarter. No scoring since halftime. 28 nothing as Nipmuc killed their own best opportunity at the five yard line with fourth and goal as you just saw. Last of three. So third and 12 from about the two, three yard line. Yeah, and, and going back to what you said about Nipmuc ruining their own drive, that was just too bad. It was. I mean, I, I would have really liked to see them to put it into the end zone. Mm, yeah. You know, on, sure. a, on a nice running well, play yeah. or a pass yeah. play or something that would give the kids momentum and feel good, you know. But on the other on the other side of it, Dover Sherborns are in the shutout. They have. But you're right about Nip Buck. They had it. They had it, and they had deserved it until they didn't. Another Way downfield, wide oh. open, Murphy. Oh. Nope, make that no, not Murphy, but number 18, Mike Polk. Yeah, that's a name we haven't heard much. No, uh, and that ball was his until it wasn't. Right. Here's the replay. He saw it. He caught right up to it. He, he yeah. could have pulled it in. It was just a little mm. overthrown, but he had the arms there and just didn't do it. Yeah. Remember, there was a period the NFL where they used stick them. That, is that outlawed? It was like, oh, yeah, it's outlawed it? now, but, yeah, it was. Only it baseball was, pitchers can use it, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sap. I, I've been watching the pitches come off the mound, and sometimes the umpire says, "Oh, just go in the dugout," because he knows they're not going to—they're not going to cheat. They're going to get caught and thrown out. Mm -hmm. So it, it does work. But there are a lot of people. Um, we got Nipmuc's timeout. So it's a fourth down and twelve, and Nipmuc is in great field position to return the ball, and they use their second timeout. It's now, true. You know, the, you know, you're coming back in this game. You've got one timeout left. That was not a good time to use it, except that they know they're going to get good field position. They want to make sure they don't mess it up. Yeah. That, uh, that's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. You know, no penalties. They, 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 if if Dover Sherburn is, in fact, going to kick it, they're not going to have much distance to, to, to get back. It's going to be a short pooch. Wow, look at those uh, Let's, That iPhone's still out there, Brad. You need a new iPhone? I'll oh. back you up. It's probably an iPhone 5, and you go up there and say, uh, never mind, give it to somebody else. Yeah, and it's pink. We had an iPhone 6, and it was like, oh, we got to upgrade. These things are slow and outdated. All right, so here's the punt. That's no, it. It's kind of a... It's not a good punt. It's way up in the air. Oh, Make what a, a oh great roll. God. That's the best punt of the season. Oh, my gosh. You got a 20-yard roll on that. And you the know, players are trying to whisk it down the field. And Nipmuc's going, oh, no, I can't you gotta believe be, it. What can go wrong next, right? They would have had it inside the 40. If it was a normal bounce, it, oh, my God, it bounced at the 35. And I got to say, Nipmuc needs every advantage, and they just lost 20 yards. Now, look at them whisking the ball down the field. Yeah. That was one of those things that if it's not going your way, it's, it's not, not going, going your way. way. Mm, I know. I love when the players you know, whisk their hands across the ball. Come on, ball, a couple more yeah, inches. That's cute. I saw a baseball play where there was a ground ball down the first baseline. It was out of play and the first baseman backed off, and the ball went back in play and mm. sat on the bag. It was a fair ball. Yeah. Because you got you got to go, go the whole distance. Way downfield, backside pass, and the receiver had no chance. But the, I you really see a ball go down the first baseline and just curl back in, and the first baseman figures, dead play, and the, the runner beat it out. That's a base hit. That's yeah, a base hit, baby. Just like a line drive, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. give up on the play till Not it's over. at all. No. And as soon as you see it go out of bounds, it doesn't mean it can't go back inbounds. Mm -hmm. But that pass just, the receiver was going one way, the ball's yeah. going the other. Yeah. So they got a second and 10 at their own 41 to be exact. <laughs> Love the <laughs> cheerleaders, they're still psyched up for this game. Clock, backside Blind pressure, side. throws it way down, feel overthrown. Oh, I thought that was actually going to be intercepted. Third down. 
Well, here's the thing. If you've got that much faith in your defense and you're going to pick that ball off, you are got to go the, the wrong way to get it. First of yeah. all, your momentum's driving towards the end zone down the field, mm -hmm. and you're going to maybe get it back your own 20. Knock it down. They're not showing you anything on offense. Make no. them punt it. Yeah. And they're not going to punt at this point. This is two down territory for them. You know? Has to be. That's it has right. to be. Yep. Unless they're going to quit. Then they're not. Can't quit. Mm -mm. No quitting in football. Mm -mm. Every play is a new play. You forget the last play and play. Long count by Clark. He drops back to the sideline. Got his receiver spinning out of bounds. Is 24 Tom Collins. So uh, I lied. It's number 28, <coughs> and it's uh, Brady Kamalak. Brady Kamalak. Now they are going to go for it. Have to go for it. It's fourth down. About what? Four, five, close four, five. <laughs> And there's Cloutier, their best receiver probably, talking to his coach like, hey coach, I'm feeling better now. And they're talking over there. If you can play, put him in the game. Yeah. If not, sit down. <coughs> Oscar Clark over center. <coughs> He's not gonna run it, is he? Man in motion, yeah, they're gonna run it. Delayed a Tinio. And I don't know, but that was uh, not a smart play. You don't run the middle on Dover Sherbourne. Haven't you figured that out yet? That's kind of surprising, actually. Yeah. No you play know? action, I no, no see, spread the field, nothing. I didn't see any guard pulling, <coughs> nothing. Yeah. How about Murphy. a misdirection? Oh. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, a little bit um, quizzical on that one. And I don't, you know, I was talking to you at halftime and I'm um, talking to John Daly as well. Got to be careful with Dover Sherbourne. You're going to play Sharon in the coming week. They're not a good team at, at this juncture. You may have three resounding victories. Don't get overconfident because the rest of the season is coming up, and that's the tough part. The first three games are not tough, but the rest will be, and I'm sure Steve Ryan knows that, and he will impart that to his team. Yeah. Hello, cheerleaders. You know, they're, they're, they're tremendous. They're, I love them, yeah. Yeah. And look, they're so well synchronized. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Can we stay here for a while? You can tell they practice. Yeah, they do. They were incredible. Hard. They do. They got it it's going. It's a big contingency there, too. Sullivan keeps the ball, twists around, goes nowhere. Clock running down to a buck 45 to go in the quarter. 28 nothing home team. This is a mirror image of the um, Wabin. Yeah, Western game. Have you ever been to Western High School? I've been by it oh a few times. Gosh. If you ever get a chance to go into their field where the football field is, mm -hmm. it is immaculately gorgeous. You walk over a little bridge, over a pond, off to your left, left a tennis court, soccer field, and you walk up the stairs to the stadium. It's just beautiful. Wow. Gorgeous place. Wow, is it Weston? Weston. Yeah. One of the more affluent towns in mm -hmm. Massachusetts. Hand off to Amadi. Amadi straight ahead. Bucking up the light right side over the hash mark. Brings it past midfield. All right, he's down. Who carried the ball? Was that 26? Was it 20? Lazana? I swear he said Amado Afosa. Amado Afosa. I got that part. Yeah. I thought it was. Let me see. Hmm, hold on. It's a little confusing. Was that Alex Romoli? No, he's not a running back. Well, it could have been Romoli. Romoli's in the game. Alex Romoli. Um, you mentioned him earlier, I think. Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't <laughs> Somebody me. else, yeah. Uh, he's a junior, and he's coming out to the f near side as a receiver, I thought. Didn't they uh, ask, the kids ask for him to come in? Yes, they did. Yeah. I think that was, was a Marty on the, on the carry last time. Stumpy rushing the quarterback, but he gets the pass off. <laughs> Spin around by Bennett. Bennett down to the 34-yard line. That was a nice pass, nice catch. Very nice. <coughs> you know, it's not it's not all the time that they connect like that, but when it does, it's it's really a pretty thing. Agreed. And I think um, uh, the Warriors are kind of shaking their head, going, "What do we got to do now?" 
to uh, excuse me to score and uh, and to defend. Well, they got one quarter to go. They haven't scored in this one quarter to go, and they're down by four touchdowns. Upcoming right game there. will be next Friday against Sharon. That's Friday the 24th. Then the first Friday in October, ah, Dedham will be here. Then this team goes on the road for a while. They got to go to Medway, Bellingham. Those are tough games coming up. Even Dedham will be tough. It's not a cakewalk through this league once you start playing league games. No. And remember, the first three games are out of league and rebuilding teams. And this is where you build up your force and you move forward from there. You know, Denham's always one of those, been always one of those different cities where they've either been a, a, a brick house, you mm -hmm. know, or, mm -hmm. and they've always had traditionally good teams back down in Denham. If you remember a couple of years ago, their coach, Flynn, um, was fired. Uh, he's let go of his football duties. I don't know if he's fired from the high school because he went to school committee and protested about his uh, middle school daughter's curriculum and he wasn't happy about it. And they relieved him of his coaching duties. And I thought, David Flynn, I think his name is. And I don't know how that was resolved because he sued. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. And we had talked about it a couple of years <laughs> ago. I mean, people have a right to speak their mind. Yeah. He wasn't being insolent or violent, and all of a sudden he loses his coaching duties. That's not right. And the team went right downhill. You know, he was being a parent. You have a right to be a parent. You do. Ball is exactly on the 30. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> I'm Fosa Amadi on the carry. Sullivan leaning over center. He's in no hurry to pass the ball, so he can lean over center and run as many plays as he wants. Pitch to Johnny Bennett. Sees a problem on the outside. Now cuts it outside. Turns it back upfield. Bennett for a short gain out of nothing. Wow. You know, the interesting thing is I had thought, and I'm looking at the monitor while I'm looking real uh, <coughs> live, and I'm thinking when he hesitated, I thought for a second he was going to throw it. Bennett? Wouldn't have that oh, been something, I didn't even huh? Think of that. Look, Look at that. See, he stopped. He turned around. He kind of like yeah, yeah. that would have been. Uh, I think he was more looking for a hole. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, but wouldn't that's what I'm thinking. It's like <laughs> what a play so, that would have been. Of course, it was incomplete. He'd have to talk to the coach afterwards. <laughs> um, with Bennett, like, tell me how many plays he uses loses yardage in a game. One, two, maybe, if that. Yeah, if that. And that's an incredible force. Straight ahead, buck play over the middle, dive play. Um, offensive line move forward and let's move the ball. Yep. Yep. Looks like a Marty on the carry. No, actually, Tyler Myrick is coming to the game as a running back, relieving a Marty. So Myrick in the offensive backfield, and he's someone who's a good backup running back, and he's learning now in a one-sided game. Good opportunity for him. And he'll get a lot more carries. The Warrior cheerleaders you're looking at. I wonder this how many hours a day they practice. And, you know, you watch them, and these are the kind of, you know, cheerleaders in sync, liking what they're doing. They win championships. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Years ago, Milton High School, when I worked there, they went to Braintree for, um, um, cheerleading championships. I went there and watched. I was so impressed by these high school kids. They work so hard at it, yeah. and they're so good, or they don't make it to the championships. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of time they put into that, you know. Hmm. Right, right. It's and, game day for them. And yeah. You, and also, speaking of that, you build up this talent. It's like um, the lacrosse teams, the field hockey teams, and other teams here at Dover Sherborne. Once you get into a winning tradition, it just carries itself on. Kids want to play for you. Kids want to get better and carry on a school tradition and yep. be part of it. I believe that's Myrick again all the, over the right guard hole. Watching the clock run down to 840. You know, and I'm looking at the um, Warriors bench and um, uh, Kazi Hassan, number 78, who's who's been out there. He's been Stretching out, he's limping a little over on the sideline. So he's a big kid. He could be tired. Yeah, he could be tired. Playing a lot. I'm sure he's playing both sides of the ball. Yeah. Very. <clears throat> Got an injury on the field. The 
Yep, my player is down. Officials timeout. With 30 players, they um, everybody back up now. That was quick. No, with 30 players, they can't. Did he come off? Did he come off? Oh, there he's stretching on the side. Sorry, Brad, I didn't see that. Oh, that's uh, friend number 78? No, it's 50 something. Yeah, 78 walked away somewhere. 50 something's on the ground. And it's 30 players. You've got eight spares. I mean, then you so you double up everybody, and you have more spares, but you're doubling up people on O and D because you don't have enough good bodies mm -hmm. to put out mm -hmm. there. Yep. We got a fourth and five for the uh, Raiders. They're going to go for it. You don't kick a field goal when you've when you've already won the game. You know, I I I disagree. I think they should. No. They should try. No. You know, no. that's rubbing it in. Game's you over. think you think if they don't score right now, it's not rubbing it in? They're going to run the ball, I bet you. Mm -hmm. And suppose by chance they pick up a first down. I'm fine, but I don't think he's going to pass it. No. Straight ahead. Myrick, I believe. That's going to be close. That's very close. He's spotting it just outside. You know, the other thing about that, Bruce, is the total points. So if you're tied and you each have a tie uh, record, doesn't points for and points S against come into at play? At some point, I think so. Yeah. This is a first and goal, so that's moot at this point. But I know what you're saying. Yeah, I'm not sure where that comes into play. I don't know. There's so many rules. That Let's get there and worry about it then if we have to. the second game my wife's been to with me in the stands. Well, I'm not in the stands, obviously. She's wondering, why don't they just call it at halftime? Roll up by the quarterback, looks to the end zone, throws it out of bounds. Smart play by Sullivan. Yeah. Did oh, you see Deb on the other side over there? Where is she? No, she's over here. On the oh, she's side. on this side? She's up in the stands with the little gray hoodie on. That's your right. About three rows down near the end here. Mm -hmm. Got a little hoodie on. Yeah, Sullivan. I mean, yeah. Um, What's up? Quarterback's down. He's up. He's down. He's up. Nipmuc has some, some nice players, but they don't have enough of them. Boom. He might have got the wind knocked out of him on that tackle right there. Chinyo. Oh, grabbing his leg right there. Oh, jeez. We don't want to see that. Yeah, but I just hope. Mm. Steve Ryan walking off the field without a player, so that's good. Time out blue, I heard that one. Yeah. I don't know if Steve wanted that. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Six nineteen remaining in the game. Twenty-eight to zero. So if this holds the way it is now, Dover Sherborne in their first two games will have scored seventy points while only allowing the opposition six. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Bad at all. That high school math did help me out, see? <laughs> so it's a second and twenty five coming up. You see a player on the Nipbuck sideline with his shoulder pads on his head. He's probably thinking, do I really want to go back in? No, I don't. <laughs> that would be number 45, 54, I can't read them. 45. Mm. They don't have a 45. I don't know. Straight ahead. Nice yardage pickup. Mm. All the action's down the other end though, it's right now. It's tough to get the angles. Where we are, we're approximately at the 30-yard line in the Dover Sherman uh, Mobile Studio. Myrick on the run. 
see how they spot it. Pickup of nine, so third and 16. They're missing that ball on the light. So it's tough to find at our angle. Motion. Myrick coming to the right side. Myrick going down with a loss. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not Myrick. That's number seven, Griffin Ross bottom carrying the ball. PA announces son. Is saying no gain on the play. Oh, is that right? I thought it was a loss. Timeout injury? No. Nope. Chris Kiesling is coming into the lineup as a running back. Is that 78 for uh, Chip we yeah. saw? Is he in? He's on the sideline. They're taping up one of their players who's not coming back into the game. I think it's 60. <coughs> Joe Carlson, senior. Yeah, he's a big senior lineman. We saw him over here. Remember, he was feeling yes. lousy, and the yes. trainer was with him. Yes. And now they're wrapping up his stomach, it looks like, in his lower chest. I wonder if he got a rib injury. Yeah, exactly. And they use a clear mylar tape. That's unusual. I've never seen that before. Hmm. Yeah, right in front of us, right there. there. Interesting. Um, medical technique he's hurting yeah poor kid yeah wish him the best <clears throat> welcome to a long time out huh Nobody wants to come back on the field. Ah! <laughs> the moth landed on me. I'm grabbing this thing. What the heck was that? It's a moth. Mm. Um, we're at the, um, luckily, at the Western <laughs> game. There's Bruce yeah. Arch Nemesis right there. Yeah, he's recovering. He's coming back for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is he okay? Brad, to go down and talk to him. He's a uh, colorful moth there. Uh, pretty moth. Of... All right, Brad, that's enough. <laughs> um... It was 35. Good camera work there, Brad. It was Brad. a 35 <laughs> point lead at West, and they ran the clock in the second half. Did they? So that speed the. <laughs> <laughs> what? That cam in the replay. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to get a tribute like that for the moth. There you go. I have to get out and make sure he's okay after the game. Maybe I'll take him home and feed him. Yeah. Color. Rush on, Sullivan gets away, he's running himself. Sullivan close to the goal line, he's stripped inside the five. He was down, fumble, but he was down. Official stop on the clock with 4.12 to go. They could make a first down. His knee's mm. down, yeah. It looks like we're going that. the other way, huh? Yeah. yeah. Turnover and downs, and it didn't matter. You know, no. you run the ball, you run the clock down, maybe you score, maybe you don't. Maybe. So the Warriors get one last crack, at least, at the 4 12 to go in the game. 28 <coughs> nothing Raiders. Yeah. Trailing, really winning. It's late. 28 nothing Raiders winning. Thank you very much for that camera work. <laughs> Thanks, there you Brad. Go. There you I go. got it now. That says it all right there. And and there's the moth. If if we had the, the circle like John Madden does, if he there's the moth right there. <laughs> That was your best call of the game. <laughs> <laughs> They're running. They're running nowhere as the quarterback kept the ball. Yeah. <coughs> Can I leave now to cure the moth? <laughs> Clock looks exhausted as he comes over to his coach for some instructions. Coach, can I stop running the ball? What do you think? Yeah. Ugh. The moth moved. Well, that's good. Didn't move very far if that's him. <laughs> or her. 
or is. Or Millie the Moth. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Could be Marvin. Marvin, Millie. That was Marvin the Martian, remember? Mm hmm. I do. Brad doesn't. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. He's much oh, older. He Younger. So here it is again. Oh, bumping into each other down there. It's off a knot. Mm. They think they got a safety. Everybody has their hands up for a safety. Did they get it? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's where on maybe the four yard line. <clears throat> I believe Tino was the ball carrier. It's uh, third and 10. Won't take long um, to run this game out. We're, we're just no, about there. No. So it's third down and 10. Drops. Tineo. Throw. Oh, nice catch. Nice Stedley. catch. Look Hot at that. Faces. Holy tamale. Keep going. Keep Stop going. It. Don't Slow look back. Down. Look out. Oh, what are you doing, Shoot. dude? Oh. At the last moment. Wow. Wow. You know, I think if he didn't keep looking back, yeah. he Brian might have had Olsen. it tripped him up. And he was getting tired on the run. But you're right. Don't look back, dang it. Just keep going. See, look how many times he looks to the sides, to the Don't back. Don't look, they're gonna catch you, they're gonna catch you. And if yeah. you're gonna look back, do some crazy thing, like head to the sideline. And you know something else? Yeah. He saw the, the back coming and, and he got, he tripped himself up the way, he got off, off yeah, the beat. Yeah, yeah, he took himself off the stride. But I'll tell you that Brian Olsen came running and didn't stop, did not stop. Well, they got a first and goal, and now we can see something. Timeout. Don't yep. disturb one. We got the cheerleaders right in front of us now. They got something to cheer about, too. Good for them. That's awesome. All right. No, we're not cheerleaders. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, ladies. There you go. That was the here we go Nipmunks cheer. Nipmuck. Nipmunk. Monk was taking Alvin show. and the Chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> Nipmuck. Nipmuck. They live in their own world down here. These cheerleaders, they have a nice little conversation to themselves. All right, so first and goal, literally at the, what, two yard line? Yeah. Chinyo, Chinyo looking for the hole, so close. On the goal line, I think. Yeah, I don't think he's in. No. Run the clock, buck 43 and counting, but they don't run the clock. And the official keeps saying, run the clock. They run it down to a buck 38, still going. So they're at the goal line. It's a long ride here from, Do from Menden Upton. You'd like to see him score for the fans. So yeah. And for the team. Sure. The, if the ball sneezed, it would go over the goal yeah, line, right? Exactly, right? right? Maybe a quarterback sneak here or something. I don't know, but. Not a bad nope, idea. Nope. Except he goes to the shotgun. <clears throat> I agree with but they don't want to go against the defensive line. Up. Oh. It's shifting. I don't know why. Yes. It's a straight ahead dive. I don't know who has it. I think you got it. Yep. Touchdown. There we go. 58.1 seconds left in the game. Who and scored? the Warriors. Was it the quarterback? Yeah. The quarterback sneak. Yep. Look, you can see right here. He didn't go in at first, but they kept pushing and pushing. It was like a scrum match at a rugby game. Got right in. Yep. All right, now they're going for the extra point. 
Hey, uh, they already put seven points on the board. Uh, yeah, now they're correcting it. <laughs> Somebody's a little trigger happy on the board there. Kickers four in the air, nice shot. But it's good. So that seven would have been appropriate to keep right on the board. So 28 to seven now with 58.1 seconds left in the game. It's been a good game for Dover Sherburn. I think they uh, eased off uh, from the second half on on the offensive uh, passing and, uh, and weaponry, if you will, and mostly kept it a more conservative running game. In the first half, Dover Sherburn won the game with three touchdown passes. One to Bennett for 55 yards, another one to Olsen for 50 yards, and then a short one to K KB for 38 yards. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, um, also wow. Johnny Bennett had a 30 yard run, and that was the ball game right there. And Nipmuc with their one yard run <laughs> from the quarterback, and probably that's the final score. And, 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 and there's the moth right there. <laughs> it's still there. Where is he? It's the instant replay right there, the, uh, the moth, and you, and you can see the wings beating right there. <laughs> is he gone? <laughs> Legend. I'm going scouting after the game, definitely. Well, you know, we saw you captured on film there, Brad. The uh, cheerleaders were actually doing backflips. They were doing backflips. Very athletic. Take a knee. Johnny Bennett receives no point in running the ball back. No, That's no. a classy play. Yep, That's I think classy. So, you don't need a run back. No. Nope. And you're just going to take a knee a couple of times and end the game. Right. Well... I don't know, you got any final comments? I don't know what else, we said it the whole game. Total domination. Yeah, you know, and we'll see. I mean, uh, Nivak is a, uh, a, a younger team. Um, I don't think we're gonna see uh, competition like this all across, like nope. you were saying. So um, it's good to get some of the, the younger kids in there, the non-starters getting some experience, game time, real live experience, which was good, so we did that. Well, we wish Nipmuc luck the rest of the season. Yeah, you know, yeah. They've got some injuries to recover from as well. Yeah, I was gonna say, I hope that young kid is. Yeah, uh, they got a couple of injuries, especially yeah. one. <coughs> so they're taking the knees now, so that's that's classy. You keep classy, Dover Sherburn. Clock's running. I think they got to run one play. That'll do it. Yeah. And there's the uh, the posse. The posse of Dover Sherburn students. Bang. Game set match for tonight, folks. Should do it. You know the rain held off. It was decent. Nice evening. Nice working yeah. with you again, Art. Yeah. Nice to see you. See you nice and healthy. Yeah, everything's good. So the final score for the final time, uh, Dover Sherbourne 28 and Nipmuc 7. We thank you for watching our cable cast slash live stream of Dover Sherbourne High School football. Until next time, so long, everyone. So long.